I just wanted to invite you into a little section of my life here. I uh, am doing a bit of a house clean out. I'm doing some work around the house. And as part of that, I'm clearing out a lot of stuff that I've just been hoarding and hanging on to for a long time. One of those things is a cupboard in the kitchen. And in that cupboard are a ton of supplements. And for anyone who's had, you know, UC or Crohn's diagnosis, you guys probably have a substantially sized supplement cupboard as well. I'm uh, sort of of the opinion that the human body does not need a substantial number of supplements to stay healthy or even to get healthy. Uh, I haven't used a lot of supplements for a very long time. There are one or two supplements that I use here and there, but generally speaking, I don't take uh, any supplements really these days. Um, but I've still held on to a bunch of supplements that I've accrued over the years. Um, and I'm actually doing a little bit of a clear out. So let me show you uh, what I'm actually <laughs> clearing out. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff from colostrum to uh, detox stuff to biofilm busters to antimicrobials to you know, psyllium husk, bioflavonoids, um, you know, digestion formulas, whole bunch of stuff um, that I've accrued over the years that I just realized I don't use anymore and I don't have the reliance on those things. I'll actually tell you the supplements that I have held on to. So I've held on to some antimicrobials um, like oil of oregano, grapefruit seed extract, um, loricidin, and berberine. Um, cause I do think that doing uh, a cleanse occasionally can be a good idea. Also, these things are actually just pretty useful. Um, if you ever get sick and you don't want to go down the route of using, um, antibiotics, which I'm quite against. Um, I'm actually, there's actually a few other things that I am currently, uh, taking. One of them is that um, collagen powder by Vital Proteins or whatever it's called. And the other one is this. Um, it's a joint supplement. Um, the reason for the collagen is not gut health. That is joint related as well. I have um, over the years had a lot of joint injuries um, from overuse and doing stupid stuff both on and off um, the sporting uh, field. So yeah, doing some or rather taking some supplements to help out with my joints, but that's pretty much all I do these days. I think one of the things that I would encourage you guys to consider regarding your current supplements is, uh, have you seen the efficacy of them? I think oftentimes we hang on to using certain supplements because we once read an interesting article in Healthline or someone smart that we respect once said something good about that supplement. We've brought it into our routine, have not noticed a difference, but we leave it in there because there seems to be some solid science or uh, there seems to be some data or some reliable resource on the internet that we trust that recommends that supplement. If I was you, if you've not seen a supplement being effective, I would remove it, okay? Unless there is some solid reason for you to have it in. For example, you've been shown to be deficient in vitamin D, for example, of course, leave a vitamin D supplement in there. But if you don't have a solid reason to leave that supplement in there, remove it. It's going to help you to build confidence in your own body. It's going to save you money. Um, it's going to make you feel like you don't rely on umpteen different uh, supplements and medications to stay healthy. If you are either struggling to get healthy or wanting to know how to stay healthy from ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, I'll leave a link for you to contact me either above or below this video. Um, failing which, guys, I hope you have a great day. Please subscribe and like the video if you haven't already, uh, and I'll see you soon.